guys thank you so much for tuning back in um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the hundred subscribers that means the world to me um, in today's video we're going to be swatching and reviewing three different palettes but they are all by the same brand it is the Lorac sunset palettes um, now at first I really was not sure if I was going to pick these up um, I was kind of on the fence about it but I actually went to Ulta and I saw them in person and I was blown away the colors were absolutely beautiful and I could not resist I little I really wanted to but I couldn't and I also used my coupon on them um, I had a 20% off coupon so it was perfect um, so I did pick up all three I actually originally started with the um, mountain sunset this is actually the first one I picked up and I picked this one up alone but um, when I saw these in person I kind of wanted to test all three <laughs> not that I really needed all three but they were just so beautiful I actually had to get all three I just really wanted to know um, what the colors were what they looked like on the eyes how well they worked and I just I had to it's something I was completely drawn to so let's go ahead and get right into it we will start with the mountain palette just because it was the very first palette that I worked with I have been working with this for over a week now so I do have some thoughts on it first of all the packaging is so cool um, it does lift up from this end and it just kind of bends kind of like a sunset hence the sunset palette um, and it does go all the way back um, if you like to do that there is no mirror which I don't mind I have mirrors um, and these are your colors right here I think they are beautiful I think they are actually more beautiful on the eyes even in swatches than they are in the pan um, but still I was drawn instantly to them it is a mag magnetic top so it does close very easily um, so let's go ahead and get into swatches all right, so we are going to just go straight across for each line. All right, so. So here is your very first row. They are so soft to the touch. They are absolutely beautiful I really enjoy this purple one right here um, this is a perfect inner corner this one right here is really good for the outer V all right let's go ahead and get to the next ones got a lot of swatches to do so I'm gonna try and hurry through the swatches All right, so right here, this is a really pale pink. You probably won't be able to see this on my arm um, just because it is very pale. Once it is on my eyes, it actually looks beautiful. You can really see the color, and I do, do use this as a all-over color. Um, all right, so these right here, they are absolutely stunning. Uh, this is the blue that I actually used and put on my Instagram, and I just fell in love with this palette. So there are your swatches for the first one. This is the Mountain Sunset. All right, so moving on into the second palette. This is the second one that I was drawn into. Once again, the top lifts up and is magnetic. You can bend it back. These are your colors right here. All right. Let's go ahead and get into swatches for these. All right. All right, so there is your first row of swatches. All right, going into the second row. All Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So there's your first row. And there's your second row. And once again, that is the Ocean Sunset Palette. Okay, and for our last palette, we have the Desert Sunset palette. Same thing, lift it up. Oop, sorry, I forgot the plastic was in there. These are your colors for the Desert Sunset palette. All 
All right, there is your, there is your first row. There is your second row. There is your first row again, your second row, and that is the Desert Sunset Palette. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into thoughts. I have been using these for quite some time now. They are so beautiful in the pan. They are so beautiful in the swatches, and they are just as beautiful on the eyes. Um, I am wearing it today. Um, I use, which one did I use? All right. uh, I use the uh, Ocean palette today. I do have, what is it, Sea Urchin on my lower lash line. I use these in my crease color. I used um, Ocean Floor for my eyelid color. And I am just very pleased with this look. It's just a very nice look. I went out with my family for dinner. I just wanted to do something simple. And it was just so easy. I do have a picture of me on Instagram. Um, that I used the Mountain, Mountain Sunset Palette and I used a, I did a blue eye for that. Um, so for that one I did have the uh, smoke signal all over my lid for that one. I enjoy these palettes. I think they are definitely worth the money. They are so soft to the touch. They are so easy to work with. These have got to be some of the best eyeshadows I have worked with as far as blending goes, especially for a beginner. They are so easy to blend. They are so easy to blend. I would say that these are right up there with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This blends like a dream. These blend like a dream. I really thought when I purchased all three, you know, eh, I'm not going to like all three. I'm going to end up taking one back, um, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Um, I'm not taking anything back. I am keeping all three. They are just that good. As far as fallout goes, the fallout is very minimal, okay? Um, as far as when you go in with a brush. You see right, I'm just kinda taking my hand just a little bit and there is barely any fallout in there. The pigmentation on these are stunning. I do not have to go in with a wet brush at all, at all. That's how good they are. Um, I can use any color in any one of these palettes, okay? And I, and I can go in with a dry brush and get just as much pigmentation as I would with my finger. The color payoff is stunning, okay? Stunning. When I was working with these on my eyes, I had no issues with fallout underneath. Um, so I would say for these you can definitely put on your foundation first you don't have to worry about anything falling out that's how amazing these are um, I I wouldn't say that you need all three I'm keeping all three just because I love each every single one I can create so many different looks and they really are different at first I when I looked at them in store I thought those they, that the colors were kind of similar, but they're really not. Once you get them swatched and once you begin to use them, you can see that they are actually really different. So if I had to choose a favorite, oh God, that'd be so hard. Um, I will stick with the very first one that I bought just because I was drawn right into it. Um, and that is the Mountain Sunset. Um, as far as the other two, I'm kind of tied. If I absolutely had to choose, I would maybe go with the ocean, but um, like I said, they are just beautiful. Um, I don't remember if they are limited edition or not, so I would definitely have to check that out, and I will make sure to put that in the description box below. I know that they are very hard to find right now. Um, they are going in and out of stock online. I did have to travel to two different Ulta's in order to find um, the palettes themselves. So if you were thinking about it and you were just... Um, uncertain I just I hope I helped you in your decision um, because these are so good they are so good they are definitely up there and I am extremely happy with this purchase like I am so freaking happy with this purchase so um, if you guys did like this review please give it a thumbs up and, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be aware of any future videos that I may have and I hope you guys have a great night bye